The aortic valve is the gateway to life-sustaining circulation. Through this critical valve, oxygen-rich blood flows from the heart to nourish every cell in the body. Aortic valve stenosis develops through several pathways, age-related degeneration and calcification, congenital abnormalities such as a bicuspid valve structure, or rheumatic damage following episodes of rheumatic fever. Progressive narrowing of the valve orifice increases hemodynamic resistance, which leads to the development of left ventricular hypertrophy as a compensatory response. Eventually, myocardial contractile function declines, causing symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, and dizziness, along with an increased risk of life-threatening complications. When symptoms appear, surgical replacement of the aortic valve becomes essential. Modern cardiac surgery offers multiple approaches, including minimally invasive techniques such as thoracotomy, mini-sternotomy, and transvascular techniques. However, in many cases, the classical median sternotomy, a precise vertical incision through the sternum, provides optimal access to the heart. Since the heart is constantly contracting and expanding, valve replacement cannot be performed on a beating heart. Instead, cardiopulmonary bypass technology temporarily takes over the heart's and the lungs function with specialized cannulas. After carefully opening the pericardium to expose the heart, the surgeon places precise purse string sutures on the aortic wall with meticulous attention to avoid perforation. Additional purse string sutures are positioned on the right atrium with a smaller one placed for the cardioplegia cannula. Oxygenated blood is delivered through the arterial cannula while venous blood is redirected from the body through the venous cannula into the cardiopulmonary bypass machine, where it is oxygenated. After cross-clamping the ascending aorta, a specialized cardioplegic solution is administered to induce controlled cardiac arrest. This creates the still, bloodless field necessary for precise valve replacement, all while the patient's vital organs continue to receive oxygenated blood. With the ascending aorta opened, the surgeon visualizes and excises the diseased valve. This step includes not only valve removal, but also careful clearance of the aortic root from tissue fragments and calcium deposits to prevent debris from entering the left ventricle or coronary ostia, a key precaution in severe calcification. The surgeon then precisely sutures the aortic annulus using U-shaped stitches with tapered needles. Non-absorbable 2-0 sutures are typically selected. After determining the optimal valve size, the surgeon evenly distributes the sutures around the annulus. The sewing ring of the prosthetic valve is then meticulously stitched, ensuring no significant gaps remain. The valve is positioned at the annulus and secured firmly with these sutures. Following closure of the aorta and implementation of comprehensive air embolism prevention measures, the surgeon removes the cross clamp from the ascending aorta, allowing cardiac activity to resume. The surgical team then methodically discontinues the cardiopulmonary bypass support, carefully removes all cannulas, and performs meticulous hemostasis to control any bleeding points. The sternum is then reunited using specialized surgical wire that provides structural integrity. The specific sternal closure technique is tailored to the individual patient, considering factors such as age, body composition, bone quality, and the surgeon's clinical expertise. Finally, the subcutaneous tissue and skin are then closed in precise anatomical layers to ensure optimal healing. Aortic valve replacement surgery restores physiological blood flow, significantly reduces symptomatic, including dyspnea and fatigue, enhances exercise capacity, and substantially improves the patient's overall quality of life and longevity.